If I showed you an object like this, or this, you could probably explain to me pretty quickly what they are and how you use them, because they're common tools in our world today. But what if I showed you a tool that's not so common today? A tool like this one. And what if I told you it changed the world? Can you guess what it is or how humans used it? This tool is called an astrolabe, and it was used for centuries by explorers who lined it up with the stars in the sky to figure out their location. We'll learn more about the astrolabe and other tools used by explorers in today's video lesson. We're going to focus on the age of exploration, a time when new technologies helped Europeans explore around the globe. Let's dive in. If you're going to travel the world, you're going to need to know how to navigate. To navigate means to plan how you'll get from one place to another. Today we have maps on our smartphones to help us navigate, but things were more complicated in the age of exploration because no one had mapped the whole planet yet. In fact, the Europeans didn't even know the Americas existed until they bumped into them trying to find an ocean route to Asia. To sail around the world, Europeans would need better ways to navigate while at sea. During the age of exploration, Europeans borrowed tools from other cultures to improve their navigation skills. You've already seen one of the most important tools, the astrolabe. Do you remember what it was used for? Sailors used the astrolabe to read the stars to understand their location at sea. The earliest astrolabe was invented in ancient Greece, and they were later perfected in the Islamic Empire. Here's how it works. Wait until the sun is at its highest point in the sky, and then hold the astrolabe by the ring at the top and let it drop down. Line up the sights so they catch the sun's rays, and then measure the distance between the sun and the horizon. Do the same thing that night using the North Star. Then compare the two measurements on a star chart, and you can figure out how far north or south of the equator you are. We call this measurement your latitude. If you did that, you could figure out roughly where you are, but how could you know what direction you're headed in? To do that, Europeans borrowed another technology, the magnetic compass. It was invented in ancient China. North, south, east, and west are all marked on a compass. The magnetic needle points to the north, so sailors could tell which way they were headed by examining the compass. If you were sailing the seas in the 1500s, and you had an astrolabe and a magnetic compass, what two things could you figure out? With your trusty astrolabe and magnetic compass, you could figure out your latitude and what direction you were headed in. Even after Europeans had those technologies, they still wouldn't have been able to sail around the world without one other very important thing. Can you take a guess what it is? What else do you think they would need? Europeans needed a ship capable of sailing around the world. Doing this would require a new type of ship. Before the age of exploration, Europeans didn't know how to build ships that could sail into the wind. Portuguese shipbuilders solved this problem when they developed the caravel in the 1400s. Let's take a closer look together. A caravel stretched about 65 feet in length. Its triangular sails helped them maneuver and could sail against the wind. This was a technology perfected by Arab sailors. Caravels also had shallow keels so they could go close to coastlines when they wanted to explore. A shallow keel is just another way of saying that the bottom of the boat wasn't too deep. The caravel had one other important feature, a cargo hold large enough to hold supplies for a long, long journey which is important because these voyages could last for years. What problem did the caravel solve for European explorers? The caravel helped European explorers sail against the wind. Now it's time to show what you know. Can you explain three advancements in technology that allowed European explorers to explore the world during the age of exploration? You might have written about new shipbuilding techniques, like the triangular sails on the caravel that allowed explorers to sail against the wind. 
or the shallow keel that let them get close to shore. And you might have mentioned new navigational tools like the astrolabe and the magnetic compass. All of these were advancements in technology adopted by the Europeans during the Age of Exploration. Thanks for learning with us today and for taking another step toward putting together the pieces of the past.